So let's now go ahead and start compiling our asset, assets into um, our uh, animation. So first things first, we've gone back into the, uh, where we put in the audio. I'm gonna click five to go into orthographic mode. I'm gonna press one to go into front face mode. I'm gonna right click on this object and press delete. So let's go file and let's link the data. We don't wanna append it because append it means we can um, edit the document, uh, the file. We don't wanna do that. We just wanna link it um, and keep the file separate. And if we wanna change the file, we need to go into the other, other file to change it. And then it kind of does a global change. So let's link, let's first put in our buildings. Um, we said it was the town square. It is a group and let's highlight both of them and link. Okay. So this is what I was referencing. See, I left the building to the side. Um, the origin point is now here, whereas this one is here. And I forgot to turn off the rotation, but oh well, we'll live with that. File, link. Let's go into our assets, marketplace, object, sorry, groups. And let's bring all three things back in together. Okay. I'm gonna put that one there-ish. Mm, that one doesn't turn out as well as I hoped. Okay, let's move the stall here. Rotate X 2.5, rotate Z 2.5. And so we kind of got this, rotate X 2.5, rotate Z 2.5. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring these down a little bit. And I mean, even though it's a still a 2D animation, we can still give it a little bit of depth. And rotate Z 2.5, rotate X 2.5. Let's bring this one as well. And I think I might just move it to about this spot, but I'm going to go size X minus one and we'll flip that around. Now, have I given this rotation? No, I haven't. So, rotate X 2.5, rotate Z 2.5. And it's kind of just standing there on its own wheels. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? So, how about we move this back over to here? And it's kind of almost like it's attached to the uh, cart there. Okay, now obviously one thing we didn't do is our floor. So if I go back into our town square, I believe, this is where our, yep, beautiful. Wow, that's a disgusting color. Let's create a new material and we'll call that ground and we'll make it a gravel color. And I think that's about right. Let's do a control G and call this uh, ground and we'll save that. Let's go back into our file, not that one. This one, file, link, back into the locations, back into town square, group, ground, link, Pop that down a little bit. And might need to just fix that up a little bit. Now the buildings just, no, 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 no. Go back down. There we go. There we go. I'll bring the card up bring this card up. Mind you, it's sitting in the building. And now we've got it like this. Uh, let's quickly set up the camera as well while we're here. Alt R, Alt G, Alt S to, um, to reset everything on the camera. 
rotate X 90 degrees. We're going to go over into the cameras tab, change this to orthographic mode. And obviously it's going to be massive. All right. And let's just zoom in a little bit. G, save. I'm also going to start linking in our characters. So we've got a child. All right. And I'm going to give her her rig. Um, Alt P, nope. Control P. Control Alt P. There we go. <laughs> um, I know that the way my standard is, this is the mesh, which is what I've imported. And I want the rig. And now we've got the rig for this character as well. Pose. So now I can, you know, do all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead now. Let's go back into object mode. Shift A. File. Link. We want not this one. D, &D characters. Group. Oscar. File. Link. Uh, Stevenson. File. Link. No, Oscar's not in this bit. Sorry, that's part. That's the wrong character. Delete. File. Link. This one. Yes, that's the main character there. Um, and let's quickly now add their rigs. Control P. And Control P on Stevenson. There we go. So I now have my three main characters. Uh, I still have to import my other characters but there we have it we've got our marketplace scene this space here let's fill it up with something else let's go back into this scene i'm going to shift d on that one and let's move x let's go into city building add group Oops, get it out of that group. A new group, control V, building three. And we want to change the yellow brick of this building. Um, so if I were to change this color, it will change this building as well. So I got to press the plus sign to duplicate. Oh, come on. What color should we do? Mm. So we've got a lot of browns because we've got a lot of wood. We've got a blue. We've got a gray. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, but the floor's gray. I'm just trying to think of a color now. I mean, I could make it like an orange. How about we pick a color first? I'm just going <gasps> to... Crashed on me. Let's just open that up again. Okay. Shift D X. Take out this, add a new group, control V three yellow plus. Let's pick a color going to kind of just move it around. I mean, obviously it's 2D cartoon. Done. Whatever that is. Ugh. What are we going to call that? A light blue. Okay. Light blue. Shift S. Groups. Done, done, done. Now if I go back into here. File. Link. Location. Town square. Groups, building three. It's obviously. Oh, 
Why is it that color? Because I didn't change the viewport color. But anyway, so we can leave that at, for now. Um, what I could do is I could just save it and reopen it, but I don't really need to. If I go into material mode, you'll see it's the right color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this building back. I'm just gonna kind of move it to the side, it's blocked. And because we're only seeing this little bit, um, you know, we can tell that it's a different building and I'm pretty happy with that. And the next step will be to animate.